All right, what do you think the world needs more, your outfits or safe abortions? Definitely safe abortions, mm -hmm. um, abortions for everybody. But in the meantime, um, <laughs> I will be putting on um, a show for everyone. What statement are you making with this outfit? Politically. Under boob. Oh. Oh, um, wow. Well. Politically. How would you describe your perfect man? Funny. Mm. He has to have a really good sense of humor. But he can't be broke. Because wow. that's not funny. Now describe how you would kill that man. I would probably make it look like an overdose. Wow. Oh my gosh, Julia. Yeah. You'll never know, you know? I'm afraid to be in a room alone with you. <laughs> and are you pro-women killing men? I think that if the man deserves it, yeah, why not? Men kill women all the time for no reason. Wow. Wow. The way that you shrug, I'm terrified. <laughs> yeah. Should men be allowed to have opinions? No. No. They shouldn't even be allowed to have penises. Really? Why not? It's just unfair. What's unfair about it? Okay, if I were president, I would just give guns to every woman. Got it. And not any guns to any men. Got it. Because I feel like if they can have a penis, which is a weapon of mass destruction, wow. it can be, wow. it can be. I think that women should be allowed to have the same. I think it equals the playing field. I think we wouldn't get f***ed with so much. Wow. Yeah. Well, I think when George Bush was looking for WMDs in Afghanistan, it was for penis. <laughs> yeah. Who's the ugliest man you've ever kissed? Oh my God, I can't say his name, but... Say his name. And he had a small penis. How small yeah. is small? Like that. That's small. Hard? That's very small. Oh my gosh. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than that. Tell me when to stop. Small, okay, smaller than that. Smaller, 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 smaller. Smaller. A little more, a little more. Yeah, like there. Oh my God! Obviously, you famously were sort of associated with this man. Yeah, the universe wanted it. I mean, it was a moment in like pop culture history. Yeah. It hit the reset button on your it, career. It did. So what other utilitarian uses did you get out of this person of color? <laughs> he got me a lot of clothes. Wow. Yeah. I wasn't expecting you to answer clothes. that. <laughs> you said it's scary to own a $10,000 Birkin bag when you're not rich. If a black person stole it from you, would you call the cops? Honestly, probably not. Really? No. Where's your Birkin? At home. And what's your address? <laughs> <laughs> no reason. I don't really have emotional attachment to the Birkins. Mm. But like if you came in and like took like my like best friend's ashes or something, oh my God. it's gonna be a fight. Well, that you would know. be a sick to yeah. steal ashes. But you never know. Like, but th that's like my prized possession. Who do you is... hang out with, Julia? I was robbed for like years by a girl that I thought was like my best friend. What was she doing? And stealing? she was selling my stuff on Etsy. <gasps> yeah. She was like, oh, I just like find things in Brooklyn. I thrift them. Yeah. Come to find out this bitch was robbing me. And then when I would look for the stuff, she would help me look for it. Yo. <laughs> do you know what that does to a person? Like, I'm no, seeing it's what it does. Site, but, but, you best believe, I actually sent her a meme. It was like, yes, bitch, I know you robbed me. Oh like, God. yeah, wait till I see you, but I haven't seen her, so. Like, I realized that if, that people needed to think that I was crazy. And that was like how they weren't gonna fuck with me. And then I don't know when I actually became crazy. It was like, I'm gonna pretend to be crazy. And then it just, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Filled with terror. <laughs> okay. Well, you saw a slave play with What was your biggest takeaway from this play? That he brought his annoying friend. It was like, why do you have to bring your friend? Like, we were <laughs> supposed to go on this date. Wait, um, really? And so that's what your takeaway from slave play? <laughs> most nominated play in Tony history? No, no. I mean, I, when I worked in the dungeon, yeah. I had clients, black clients that wanted that. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is what he wants to get off. And, and I'm going to do what the, the man tells me to do because in this setting, it's, it's about him and it's his fine. needs. So not about my moral compass. No. I think that's really gracious of you to not be uncomfortable being a master. So let's pretend this little camera is your little slave piggy. How would you talk to to it as a dominatrix. Oh, you've been a bad little slut, oh haven't you? Yeah, you wanna be punished? Yeah, I bet you do wanna be punished, you dirty little bitch. But use a southern accent for like historical accuracy. 
Um, do I have to? No. Okay. Next, on Z-Way. Are you dating right now? No. Why would I want to waste my time? Really? Yeah. Have you ever tried dating women? I like have been thinking about it a lot recently because Pivot. I do think like maybe I'm I have some, you know, I have a gay bone and I need to explore that a little bit more. Like maybe my ex-boyfriends weren't wrong when they were calling me a lesbian and complaining that I never wanted to have sex with them. We're unpacking. I can find love in, in all places and all races. Except, for, oh really? Tell yeah. me about your favorite races to date. Not white, first of all. Really? I don't know, honestly. They all like are equally horrible, to be honest. All men. Like I can't, it's just the man thing. Mm. Um, how many black friends do you have? Um, like a pretty good amount. I would What's say. a good amount? I mean, I can't like count them all. Why like not? that's weird. But like a good amount. I would say that I have like a pretty like colorful and and mixed group of friends. Like I'm not even actually really friends with like any white person who like is actually like you know from like that area like if they're white what they're like area? they're like jewish or got like it, or it, like it. you know what i mean like they're not like like i don't have any like natural blonde friends you don't have any like natural, natural blonde friends? friends would you like to I apologize don't. to the blonde community i'm for this? sorry blonde community like i've actually never even been to england i know i'm like kind of ashamed of that fact but like anytime it came up i was just like a bunch of white people and bad weather like it the food sucks i heard it just didn't ever like I don't know, it's just not my vibe. Mm. Oh, I really fancy him. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> wow. As an Italian American, would you consider yourself a person of color? No, definitely not. Mm. Although, Although, there have been whiter people in my life that said things to me. What do they say to you, Julia? Like, you're not really white. Who's saying this to you? I swear on everything I love that I know a woman who is that, like, white that said that to me. And I used to have a lot of hair, like, before I got it all lasered. And, um, you know, she would say, like, it's, it's because you're Italian, you know. So I guess Italians are, like, the black people of white people. Like, right. the same way that there's degrees to blackness, there's degrees to whiteness, too. I actually want to apologize to the Italian community for making light of any persecution. <laughs> Honestly, Columbus, black man. You're friends with Anna Delvey. Where do you stand on prison reform? Free Anna Delvey, though. But she, didn't she do the things? Do what? Where do you stand on scammers? Are you pro-scammers or again? Absolutely. You're pro-scammers? Yeah. Are you an equal opportunity scammer, or do you think some races deserve to be scammed more than others? Absolutely. I think white people deserve to be scammed the most. Wow. Yeah. I've so could you tell right. all the marginalized people you can see to scam? OK, so all marginalized people, um, Feel free to scam any white person. Wow. Yeah. Except me. <laughs> Speaking of privilege, you got arrested for shoplifting in Bloomingdale's, and then you came full circle to do a campaign for them. Welcome back to Beauty Hour on Bloomies TV. What is white privilege like? I have a story. So one time I'm in bookings, right? And one time you're in bookings? One of, one of the many times Whoa. I was in bookings, and they put me in a cell with a 15-year-old black girl, mm. and she's telling me her crime. And I'm like, oh, don't worry. Like, I did this. You'll be fine. They're going to do this, this, this. And I'm like 16 at the time, OK? So that was the thing. It was her first offense. I was like, oh, you'll be fine. Like, oh, with your first one, they always just, like, they say, you know, it, it, it's OK. Like. And she comes back in hysterical, and they were gonna send her to Rikers Island. Oh my gosh! And in that fing moment, I really learned a lot because it was really fing eye opening. Yeah, sad. Like, really, really sad. I know this is supposed to be like a fun show. Next on Z Way, what other Malcolm X speeches speak to you? I've obviously watched the speeches, but I just oh, yeah? can't like pinpoint when and You've where. You've obviously they watched were. the speeches, and to be clear, you could not name a single other quote. No. Would you like to apologize to the Malcolm X community? I'm so sorry, Malcolm X community. I cannot tell if you hate men or love men. 
I like do love men. What do you love about men? I and that's the thing. Like I don't want to seem like I'm just a man hater cuz I'm not. I hate the patriarchy and I think that men are equal victims to it just as much as women. But like when you see everyone getting f-ed over and then you see all the men that they're not really that angry. Mm. And it's like, "Well, why aren't you upset?" And now that you're not upset, it makes me feel like you're not really on my team. Mm. And then it's really like you only want me if I'm on your team. That's how men are programmed to think. They don't give a f- like they don't give a f- Where do you see women's rights 20 years from now in America? Honestly, the way things are going, obviously not very good. Mm. Um, but that's why we have to stick together and, and reclaim our power and stop letting men use us, control us, coerce us. Um, even if they're friendly or nice, it doesn't f- matter. They have a hidden agenda and you need to be working on yourself, getting your money. To f- if you have to do whatever to be independent, do it but don't ever catch feelings. That'll derail the whole thing and then you have to start from scratch. So it's better to just not even date. Well.